The Ocean Security International, OSI, congratulates warmly the Management Association of the Philippines, MAP, and especially the summit chair, Dr. Corazon Claudio, on the initiative to call attention to the importance of ocean security in addressing climate change and to link it with marine biodiversity. What is the genesis of the notion of ocean security? What transpires is that while the narrow concept of security remains connected with military and political spheres, the current knowledge of interconnectivity has allowed us to expand its boundaries to a great extent. Imprudent management of marine resources impacts on food security. Diseases caused by poor sanitation in coastal cities affect health security. Pollution of the sea has impact on tourism, which is the main branch of economy in many island nations in Asia, Africa and South Pacific, thus affecting economic security. Many refugees in the world today are escaping environmental disasters such as droughts in Africa and gas and oil reserves where new fields continue to be discovered daily affect the energy security. As a result, prudent husbandry of oceans becomes an imperative to secure blue economy and the long-term economic and political stability of the world. What is needed is an intersectoral, multidisciplinary and multi-stakeholder approach, especially private-public partnership, PPP. The fact that a powerful association of captains of industry, such as MAP, is embracing this approach at the current summit is a palpable proof that the private sector is coming to terms with the concept that what is good for the environment is good for business. This reality prompted a group of like-minded political leaders, leading experts from academia and practitioners from all corners in the world to unite forces and establish our organization, Ocean Security International. Our aim is to support programs and projects and exchange best practices, especially in the developing world, in Southeast Asia, South Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa, the Caribbean, Central and South America. We launched this organization at our inaugural conference in Lima, Peru, on the eve of the 20th Conference of Parties of the United Nations Framework Conference on Climate Change, COP20, in December 2014. The conference, which was streamed live across the world, adopted a conference resolution, and I have asked Dr. Cora Claudio to kindly circulate it to all participants of this MAP Summit. We are glad to know that governments across the world are paying attention. Indonesia, for example, appointed a senior cabinet minister to oversee maritime issues and link them with all aspects of the national economy. South Africa's president, Mr. Jacob Zuma, launched their Operation Fakisa last year, placing blue economy relating to oceans at the very heart of South African economy. OSI was pleased to associate itself with this initiative and announced it to the world at the Lima conference. However, no one understands the connection between marine diversity and ocean security better than the Philippines, a country of 7,107 islands, whose population depends vitally on oceans for food, coastal development, and also tourism. Dr. Cara Claudio has developed some projects in conjunction with various associates in the Philippines and also PEMSI, and I'm sure she will find an opportunity during this summit to tell you more about the work we are trying to develop with our partners in the Philippines. We hope to integrate the results of this summit in our future work, leading to our forthcoming presence at a side event to be organized during COP21 in Paris. In view of the strong Philippine leadership within our organization by Commissioner Hekerson Alvarez, Senator Legarda, Mrs. Cecil Guidotte Alvarez, and MAP officials Mr. Fernando Peña, and of course Dr. Cora Claudio, we hope to continue liaising closely with MAP in the future, including working on joint projects. I wish this summit great success. Mm -hmm.